Hey guys, some followers of Peter Obi, known as Obedient, are currently tackling the Nobel laureate Professor Uli Sheinka on social media. Sheinka, who had a face off with Obedient in the build up to the general elections, fired fresh shots at Labour Party presidential candidate on Wednesday. He had said the Labour Party was aware that Peter B did not win the February 25th election. Sheinka stated this while speaking at the 2023 Africa in the world, which brought together the world's most innovative thinkers and top leaders to platform invigorating ideas for fresh changes and uh, sustainable solutions for African people. In March, the Nobel laureate had disagreed with the comments credited to the Labour Party vice presidential candidate Dati Baba Ahmed shortly after INEC declared President Bola Tinubu as the winner of the election. In a program on Chinese television, Baba Ahmed asked the former president, Muhammad Buhari, and the then the chief justice of Nigeria, Justice Kayode Alewara, to stay away from May 29 handover ceremony because of the poor conduct of the election by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. The party has vowed to take its opposition to the outcome of the election to the Supreme Court following the dismissal of its petition by the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal last week. At Wednesday's event, Sheinka lamented that the Labour Party leadership had been trying to mobilize young people in the country to protest against the outcome of the election on the banner of lies and deceit. Although the playwrights accused the party of taking over the organized labor movement before the election. However, he commended Obi for breaking the dominance of the All Progressive Congress, APC, and the People's Democratic Party, PDP. He said, this recent election, two things happened first. First of all, one party took over the labor a movement which is not my favorite movement and then it became a regional party whereas it was a, a marvelous breach into the established two camps peter will be achieved something remarkable there that he broke that mold however he did not win the election i can say categorically that peter obi's party came third not even second and the leadership knew it. But they want to do what we call in Yoruba Gagbaju. That is a force of lies. Okay, I'm sorry if I did not really pronounce the word very well. They were going to send some of the hardliners, hardliners, proud young people into the street to demonstrate. I am also ready to be among such demonstrators but only on the banner of truth not on lies and deceit this party wanted to demonstrate to demonstration to happen on the basis of a lie and we find this the vice presidential candidate on television boasting insisting threatening and trying to intimidate both the judiciary and the rest what a kind of government we result from that kind of conduct. In addition, they did not know this, but they were being used. Before the election, they were setting clandestine forces, including some heirs generals who were already calling for an interim government before the elections began, tweeting with handler, uh, handler one Austin, an OB supporter wrote, these insurrectionists, these cultists who invaded a radio station at gunpoint, littered universities and the streets of Nigeria with cultism is out again. 
making progress claims. Another person said, Why should Inka try hard to mislead and misinform the whole world by hammering that Obi did not win the election, but he mischievously, deliberately refused to address the issue as to whether the election was free, fair, credible, and transparent? And another social media user said, Sheinka is a bigot. He completely avoided the trending news about Tinubu and his Chicago University certificate forgeries, drug trafficking, and others, but decided to uh, distract Nigerians with his false and fake news. Another person wrote, But he won. He won. He won Lagos. He won FCT. Some professor had political contractors. Also, a Twitter user allied with the position of Shenka saying, Everybody, including the OB, knew. They knew this. But I don't know how they think. Hmm. My people, I don't talk this thing before. That Yorubas are the real enemies of Nigeria. Shenka, you will continue to turn white to black until you die. At your age, you cannot say the transparent truth because of your hatred. To be sorry for yourself. Okay, can you swear with, with your life that Obi win the election? Okay, guys, these are reactions, you know, reactions from Nigerians. Majority of Nigerians, they are still arguing the point made by uh, Shenka that Peter B did not actually won the election, that Peter B knew and his party members, his followers, they were all aware that Peter B did not win the election. He also said that they also disagree with him that Peter B, you know, uh, has uh, dominated the, the Labour Party. That is uh, the NLC, you know, because that is what they have been saying, that NLC is a obedient movement and all that. So guys, let's hear from you. What's your take on this? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. And do not forget to give us a thumbs up. Do not forget to share this news. Thank you for this coming out here. Bye for now.